This is the initial Face ID setup from first setting up the iPhone 10. It's asking for Face ID. I'll go ahead and tap continue. And it says first position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. All right, well, let's get started here. Position your face within the frame and move your head slowly in a complete circle. Interestingly, the lighting in my studio always makes the the image on the front facing camera look really overexposed. So it's kind of interesting, but it, it is working here. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. It doesn't tell me to go the other way, but I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. Second face ID complete. Face ID is now set up. Continue. Setting up Apple ID. And I guess that's all there is to it. And now that face ID is set up, all I have to do to unlock the phone is simply pick it up and look at it. And it sees me and recognizes my face and unlocks it. From here, if I swipe up, it'll go straight to the home screen. Or I can go ahead and lock the phone. And while I'm looking at it, it's the screen's not on right now, as you can see. If I push the lock button, it immediately wakes up, sees me, and unlocks. Or I lock it again, I can just tap on the screen. So if I simply tap on the screen, it wakes up and unlocks again. At this point again, I'm ready to swipe up and go straight to the home screen. Now let's take a look at some of the options in the Face ID settings. We'll go ahead into settings, scroll down to Face ID and passcode, and it is going to ask you to enter your passcode for your iPhone. You'll see here that you can choose to use Face ID for iPhone unlocking, Apple Pay, iTunes and App Store, Safari Autofill, and other apps as you start to launch them and use them. If they previously asked for thumbprint ID or touch ID, they will now say, hey, now you're going to use Face ID and ask you to authorize that. So as you can see, I've only authorized Twitter and Netflix so far. Then scrolling down from there, you'll see it says attention, require attention for Face ID. And the small print here says true depth camera will provide an additional level of security by verifying that you are looking at the iPhone before unlocking. Some sunglasses may block attention detection. So this is a security so that you actually have to be looking at the iPhone. So let's turn this off and see what the difference is. Now remember before I was looking straight at it. In fact, before I turn this off, let's test that. Let's go and lock the phone and I'm going to pick it up and point it at my face, but not look at it. Now I didn't see the icon wiggly up. It's still locked there. And as soon as I look at it, Boom, it unlocks. Let's try this again. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to point it straight at my face, but have my eyes looking away. So iPhone's going to come here. I'm looking over there. Did it unlock? It did not. I look at it, and as soon as I look at it, it unlocks. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's go back into the settings there. And it looks like I have to enter my passcode again. And now let's disable require attention for Face ID. It says if you turn it off, Face ID will unlock your phone even if your eyes are not clearly open and looking at the screen. Interesting. Let's go ahead and turn that off and lock it. And now let's see what happens. Did it unlock? It did unlock. Interesting. So how secure do you want it to be? I, for one, kind of like the looking at it feature. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that back on. But you never know what you might decide to change later. The next option down says attention aware features. True depth camera will check for attention before dimming the display or lowering the volume of alerts. Interesting. So I guess basically if you are not paying attention to it, then it will go ahead and dim the display. But if you're actually looking at it, even if you're not actively using it, presumably, it will not dim the screen. Interesting. And then there's Reset Face ID. If it's not working well for you, maybe you weren't in a great lighting environment the first time you did it, you can do it again. We can go ahead and do that now. I can hit Reset Face ID, one tap, and it's gone. Hit Set Up Face ID, and now we're going to go through this process again. Setting up Face ID. Get started, and here we go. Nice and easy, and continue. Interesting, it doesn't tell me to do it the other direction, so I'm just going to do it the same way I did last time. Scan ID face is complete. And that's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and so far in the few minutes that I've been working with it, it seems to be working very, very reliably.